Okay, I'm back. I wasn't going to do this video, but then I decided, you know what? <clears throat> you guys need to see that sometimes things happen that shouldn't happen. Now, I made an assumption just from looking at... Let me get this one here. See that bearing? It don't look bad. That bearing, I mean, it's got a little bit of wear to it, but it don't look bad. Same with this one. Same with this one. I only had one, and that was this one right here. It looked bad, but it's not not a spun bearing or anything like that it's just coming apart now the engine over there i had left the cam in it because the even the main bearings are not showing excessive wear nothing in this engine is showing excessive wear it just hydro seized this is the balance shaft. It looks fine. This is the camshaft. I mean, for 300,000 miles, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like an engine that's got a tiny bit of wear to it. Looks like an engine with about 100,000 on it, actually. But, putting all that aside... At first, I did not pull the cam because I figured if all these bearings here were good on the thrust side, so that's the thrust side of that bearing. It's not showing any excessive wear. Same with this. That's the thrust side. Can't talk today of this. And it's not showing excessive wear. So, why would I think that the cam would be bad? I mean, it just, it spins around at half the speed that the crank is. But, it nagged at me and nagged at me and nagged at me until I finally got in there and I tore it apart. Now you see the bearings. They don't look great. They're showing some pitting. Excuse me for walking. I got a bolt stuck to my light. But you see a little bit of brass on the this side over here, the bearing is flaking, same with that one, and same with that one. But that's not the interesting part of all this. Okay, let's see if I can get the light back in there again. Can you see that bearing? That's brass. That's all the way down to brass. Now, at least the balance shaft bearing in it is not bad bear with me just a second somebody was into this engine before I was now I want you to take note 
of the position. What did I just do with my light? There it is. There's a bolt stuck to that. Okay, this is an oil passage. This is an oil passage. This is an oil passage. This goes up to this. This goes up to this. Here is where they aligned the hole for the oil galley. And you notice my pick is not falling into anything. We'll come around to this one. Nothing. There's another hole here. Nothing. None of the oil galley holes line up. And if you can look down in there, let me see if I can get the light here. The oil galley holes, can you see it there on the right? And there it is on the left. They don't line up to any of the holes for the oiling for this block. Here is where the oil will come from here to here. That will oil here. Here to here. And here to here. That's three places for it to receive oil. I haven't taken the bearings out because I don't have the tool to replace them. So this is going to have to go to a machine shop where I'll let them go ahead and wash the block out and stuff, all that good stuff. But you can't always assume just because all the other bearings are good that everything else is going to be fine. I mean, I had virtually no wear on the cylinders. What I did have was a slimy stuff, and it's still in there. I mean, it's, it's icky, thick, almost molasses-like. I found a bunch of it in the bottom of the block. So, they had been trying to doctor this thing for a while. At least it did get oil to the lifters, which is probably what saved the cam altogether. But it sure didn't save the bearings. But either way, all this is about is mistakes happen. I almost put this back together without pulling the cam, figuring that, hey, if the rod bearings and all that look good, look that good on the thrust side then the cam had to be good. And I would have been 100% wrong because somebody else had been in this engine before me. And they replaced the cam bearings, but they didn't line anything up. They did at least line up for this, but I'm not real sure how it ever got oil. And it could just be because it floats. It doesn't have a load on it in any particular direction. It just vibrates. It's a counterbalance. Vibration dampening thing. I mean, it's half and half. Half here, half here. So. It's just supposed to take out vibration. Either way, that's my video. So, you know, if you tear something down, tear it all the way down. Don't do what I did here. This is the first time I've ever thought about not pulling the cam. And look what happened. I almost put this back together. Almost. But that thing kept nagging me to tear it apart, so I finally did. 
and I'm glad. I'm also sad because now it's got to go to the machine shop and there goes another hundred bucks. And I was trying to just build this quick, simple, and do a refresh and go from there. But hey, that's life. Shit happens. So, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a dozen, you know, whatever. Treat people the way you want to be treated is the best advice I can give anybody, other than don't do that. <laughs> and uh, be good to yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye.